Welcome everybody, you're watching Mindset Monday. Okay guys, let's get straight to the point and let's get real about business today. So, the results that's happened in your business, how have they changed over the past few weeks? How have they changed over the past few months? And over the past few years, have you seen a steady increase in your profit? You see, if you're not seeing this increase in profit, you're not growing, you're not going in the right direction, the team's not going in the right direction. So, talking with Andy today, obviously you're coaching with a lot of businesses, a lot of business teams. Mm. What's the number one thing that you, you spot when you start working with them? Yeah, well, <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, our results are caused by our actions, aren't they? But we've got to go one step further back because our actions are caused by our thoughts. Right. So we actually have to go back and start challenging the thought processes that are happening in the business. And for, for me, you know, the successful people, the people who are really um, grabbing hold of this and making strides with their business, they've got a certain mindset. Now, what is that? Mm -hmm. um, first of all, they've taken ownership for everything they do. Right. So they've realized that they are the cause of their results. Yes. So um, anything that happens, they ask the question, what was it about my action that caused that result? Complete ownership. The second thing is they become accountable. And part of accountable is count, so they're measuring to find out what's going on mm. and what their actions are actually causing from an objective point of view. Because yeah. let's be fair, yeah. you know, when we, we, we start, I mentioned the word objective there, the opposite of that is subjective. And for me, subjective is all about drama and emotion. Yep. Now, business isn't about drama and emotion. Business is about logic and fact. So, you know, we have to actually go back and measure stuff to find out what's going on. So accountability is absolutely in there and holding people accountable to their results yep. um, to see whether the performance is improving or not. Because everybody, let's be fair, contributes to the results of a business. So everybody should have a number that yep. they're measured upon so to, 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 to find out if they're improving or not. And the third thing is, you know, they're all responsible. So they've realized that whatever happens, they are responsible. They are able to make, choose their response to any situation that happens. Mm. But for me, those are the, the three mindset elements of a high-performing business owner and team. So this works on a bit of a continuum, doesn't it, really? You know, the ownership then triggers the accountability. Mm -hmm. What are you going to measure? Mm -hmm. And then you look at it, how do I stay responsible for those measurements? Yeah. So this is obviously above the line sort of con content, isn't it, here? Completely. Guys, we're going to talk about the other side of the continuum after the break, which is below the line. How can you move yourself away from below the line? How far are you going to take your business? The content you're learning in this video is only the tip of the iceberg. If you're ready to take your business to the next level and start implementing the right strategies that are right for you, then now is the time to book your complimentary coaching session. In the session, we explore what strategies will get you to where you want to be in the most effective way possible. Book your coaching session today. Call 01527 757 910 or visit goodtograat.actioncoach.co.uk. Welcome back, guys. Today we're talking about taking ownership for the results that show up in your business, not just yourself as the business owner, but for the team members too. So how do we spot ourselves when we're not in that zone of ownership, responsibility, and accountability? So we've talked about these things. If you can imagine a line, all the thing above the line, the ownership, responsibility, and accountability, that's above the line. So below the line, when we start acting in this sort of space, if we can spot ourselves, we can go, hey, look, I'm below the line right now. That's right. So what are the things below the line then? So we, if we start at the deepest level, actually, um, denial. I mean, the thing is, let's, let's just think about this in, in very simple terms. You know, denial might seem like a really easy to con uh, concept to understand. And OK, I'd never do denial. Well, then let's think about this. So if you're trundling along in your business doing the same thing day in day out mm. and expecting the results to change yeah i'd say that's denial because we all know that doing the same thing and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity right yeah so um denial goes quite deep um and sometimes it's quite difficult to spot because we're just trundling along doing what we always do for me that is denial um so once we've pull people out of denial, the next thing they tend to do is start to make excuses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't got time. Yeah. Um, 
Time is the number one excuse that gets used in businesses. But we all have the same amount of hours available, let's be fair. And the question I always ask is, well, just how many of those hours are you spending doing stupid? Um, and we all know what stupid means. It's the low value stuff, which isn't gonna change yeah. any of our results. Yeah. And then the third thing is blame. You know, how many businesses do I see that have a, a blame culture in place, actually, where people are pointing fingers and, dropping balls left, right and centre and not actually sort of um, taking any ownership for those balls. What they're doing instead is just pointing the finger at team members and um, saying it's all their fault. So, you know, that converse area of below the line, blame, excuses and denial, That's that really puts us in a place where we're going to stand still. We're going to go backwards probably because the mindset is so poor. That's right. And if we're not aware that we've been below the line as well, we can't ever put ourselves above the line. So how are things ever going to change if we just always stay in that point of denial, really? Absolutely. Everything's fine, everything's okay. Yeah. You go into the offices, you go into the sales office and the pointing fingers at the, at the accounts department or yeah. manufacturing or whatever it may be. Or customers yeah. aren't buying right now. Or <laughs> yeah, we hear, we hear them all. Brexit, Brexit's happening, so everybody's nervous, whatever, whatever. Yeah. All excuses. That's right. I think business will still be happening regardless of Brexit. No one's ever, not everybody's going to shut the doors down. So, uh, Absolutely. Mm. There's, there's always the next excuse to find, let's be fair. Yeah. So, you know, you can either choose to find the next excuse or choose to get above the line and actually start, start realising that there's only one person in the world that causes your results and it is you. Um, so, you know, better decision making processes, better thought making, thought processes cause better actions, cause better results. Fact. Full stop. Yeah.